I have this unfinished acorn. It came from Family Dollar, and I'm going to start by painting the base with some Wise Owl chocolate. I am adding water so it looks more like a stain. I found these two small ones as well. These two came from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby may even have a bigger one like the acorn. And I painted all of their bases. I then went and took the Wise Owl chocolate and I painted my acorn covering the entire thing. I took a baby wipe to wipe off the galvanized leaf. If you want to do this right away, the paint will wipe right up. I went over to the leaf and I painted that in Wise Owl Joshua Tree. I gave that one good coat and then I went on top of it with a little bit of brown just dabbing my paintbrush to give it some texture. Of course you could pick any fall colors that match your home decor. I then went to the pumpkin and I'm going to paint the entire thing in the Wise Owl Mandarina. Sometimes I just like to give it all the same color and then fill in the details. So then I went and painted the stem brown and then the leaf cut out I filled in with some Joshua Tree, not really worrying about full coverage. Once my acorn was dry, I went back to it and took a piece of painter's tape to separate the top from the bottom. And I'm going to paint the bottom half and wise owl snow owl. It's okay if you get a little brown mixed with your white to give it more of a cream color. I then have this mesh stencil. It's like a basket weave. I'm going to cover the top part of the acorn. And using a foam dabber and some wise owl snow owl, I went over the mesh stencil. And then I lifted it and I gave the top of it, the acorn this nice pattern. You want to wash your mesh stencils right away. That way you can reuse them. And then I again wiped off the leaf. I have this stencil I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut mine so that I could use it on this acorn. So I just made the bottom straight. It says, Hello Fall. And I'm going to go on top of that with some Wise Owl chocolate. I like to use the foam dabbers with a very small amount of paint. This will help prevent any bleeding. It's a nice slow dab and you may have to go over it a couple times to get the full coverage. And then I'm going to lift that up. I have this colored wood leaf that I filled in for the leaf on the stencil just to give it a little more color. I took my gilding wax and I dabbed some on my finger and then I lightly dabbed it on the galvanized metal part. And I did that until the entire thing was covered. Now I'm going to glue my pieces together. Yes, you can finish your backside for time saving purposes. I will not do that. I glued the small pumpkin to the left, the small leaf to the right. This is what we have so far. And then I just took these artificial sprays and stuck them behind the acorn. You can snip the ends short and add some hot glue for a stronger hold. And I love how this came out. Thank you so much for watching. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, mesh stencils, wood cutouts can all be found at chalkitupfancy.com. Have a great day.